Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to DAMS eMedico's EQ series, a unique feature where every Wednesday we are telling you a unique question. I am Dr. Siddharth, your public health specialist. This week, coming up with a question on statistical test. A study is conducted to assess the association of lithium with respiratory depression. Results are shown below. Respiratory depression seen in patients with lithium given, not given. Respiratory depression not seen, this, this. So input variable is lithium, yes or no. Depression, yes or no. Now mind it. Many students see numbers and get confused thinking it to be quantitative. Absolutely not. See, to label a variable as quantitative, you should have metric scale. What is metric scale? Kg, milliliter, second. Yes. So a variant of this question is over here. A study is conducted with similar things, mean respiratory rate, 22 and 36 with standard deviation. Now this is a quantitative output because I am telling you the mean and the standard deviation. You should be very very careful to understand this difference. Now how to approach questions on statistical tests? Four steps are important. The first step, number of groups. In this question, the number of groups are two. Lithium taken, yes or no? Second, paired or unpaired? When we do on the same person, before exercise, after exercise, it is paired. Over here, we were having in two different groups because in one patient we have given lithium, in other we have not given. So it is unpaired. Output variable, this was quantitative, this is qualitative. Now why is it important? Because when the output variable is qualitative, you utilize the algorithm 1. When it is quantitative, we utilize algorithm number 2. So what did I say? Let me summarize four steps. Number of groups, two or more than two. Second, paired or unpaired. Third, output variable, quantitative or qualitative. Fourth, if it is quantitative, I do algorithm two. If it is qualitative, I do algorithm number one. Yes. Now what is algorithm number one? Two groups unrelated we can do the chi square or the fisher exact related we do the maknimar more than two groups unrelated and pair chi square or fisher exact now remember there is nothing in related because more than two groups it cannot have a qualitative output which is related now when do we do fisher exact we do fisher exact when in the two by two table of a chi square any value is less than five suppose we have two eight nine ten this value is less than 5. Yes, fine, over. You should be very, very clear about it. Okay, in that case only we will do a chi square. In that case only we will do, sorry, we will do a Fisher exact. So, answer to the first question where the output was qualitative, answer becomes chi square because 99% times we answer it as chi square. Yes, I hope it is clear. Okay, now algorithm number 2 parametric two groups unrelated unpaired or student t test related paired t test more than two groups unrelated one way ANOVA related MANOVA now remember this is not important for you even though it is mentioned many students try to confuse over here at your PG level we don't want you to know this yes so let us look into the question in this question when the output was qualitative we utilize the chi square in this question, when the output was quantitative, we will do the unpaired t-test, also called as the student t-test. Yes? So I hope now you are clear how to approach questions on statistical test because it is one of the most important topics for your NEET exam and also for your AIMS exam. Yes? All the best. Join us every Wednesday to see a new EQ series for you people. Yes?